What's up, everybody? It's Chad, and welcome to the Metal Lounge. Uh, this is my update video from my uh, Austin, Texas trip. So, uh, got all kinds of cool stuff to show. Um, picked up some cool stuff, didn't pick up a ton of stuff, just for the fact that, uh, man, the prices on stuff have really gone up. So, uh, uh, anyway, and I'm kind of cheap on stuff. So, <laughs> I'm not going to spend 40, 50 bucks on one record. So, just, you know. But anyway. Oh, there we go. So anyway, let me show you what I got. Um, I got a little. I got some twelve inches, some seven inches CDs, a box set. So let's just dive right in. Um, this may be a long video, so uh, sit back, uh, have you a cup of coffee, and uh, here we go. Um, so we had it was my wife and my son and I and. Uh, uh, we had quite a bit of stuff planned, actually, um, to do, so, and I knew I wasn't going to have much time to record shop, really, so I uh, only hit one record store, well, one record store, uh, Half Price Books, and then Aaron's Rock and Roll Store, which is, uh, like, t-shirts and patches, and I always clean it, get a bunch of t-shirts and patches and goodies from there, so, uh, anyway, um, while we were down the 6th Street, uh, one of the things that we really wanted to do was go to a place called, uh, Voodoo Donut. Um, my son and I, and actually I guess my wife too, we love donuts. Donuts are fantastic, and I knew this was, uh, it opened up, I believe, last year, um, but I had a chance to go up and check the place out, so we, uh, went and had donuts twice. Uh, we went, uh, they're actually open seven days a week, um, 24 hours a day, um, went, let's see, we got there Friday, we actually went on Saturday, I think it was Saturday we went the first time, um, it was Saturday morning, actually. We went, well, actually, it was Saturday around 12.31. Went to pick up a couple little snacks, and uh, the place was awesome. Uh, the food was fantastic. The donuts were amazing. Uh, had killer music going, um, and they actually put out their own records, too. So, um, I really wanted a coffee mug, that really cool black coffee mug. They were sold out, and I'm like, whatever. So, uh, I put one one online. Uh, but anyway, uh, they have tons of merchandise and stuff, a lot of cool stuff that they uh, do besides just the donuts. But uh, anyway, went for a snack on Saturday, decided on Sunday morning, that's when we'd have breakfast. So we got up that morning, um, got there around 9, 9.30 or so. There was actually a long line. It was, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so at least just to get in and around. And uh, Anyway, so decided that day that I would pick up one of their records. They have some, uh, seven inches. They have a box set with all of them or they have... Um, Individually, they had some full-length records uh, from different artists and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, when I went to go get went to the line, uh, ordered donuts, and you also get your merchandise there if you want merchandise. And so I told the girl that I wanted a uh, one of the seven inches. Um, I think there's ten or twelve of them. I didn't care which one because I mean I didn't I, wouldn't, I didn't look through them all. They're all they're all um, songs about donuts or stuff like that. Um, they're donut related. So. Uh, Anyway, I just told the girl, the girl was really cool at the counter, just told her, said, uh, pick out your favorite seven inch that y'all do, and that's what I want. And so I think they're like seven bucks a piece. And so I said, just pick me out one. So uh, she comes back and she's like, well, this is my favorite. She said, it's called uh, Triple Chocolate Penetration. And she was the band's Poison Idea. I was like, awesome. I love Poison Idea. Great band. So uh, that's what I got. Here's the, the record. The back. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Um, it's really cool. It's actually open it up, and it looks like a brown donut, basically. So, anyway, uh, it's got the uh, uh, triple chocolate penetration by Poison Idea on one side. The flip side is a hypnotic uh, a Poison Idea, also. So, I haven't actually had time to spin this yet. So. I'll be doing that soon. So that was kind of a cool souvenir. They didn't have the coffee mug, but I'd settle for the record. So that was actually the only seven inch I picked up. I had I planned on picking a couple other ones up from the record store, but just because of time and money, I didn't end up picking any more of those. Any more seven inches up. So um, I'm just gonna go through the CDs. Uh, some of these from Half Price. Some of my favorite record store there is Encore Records. Um, 
it's really a great metal shop. They've got tons of metal, CDs, vinyl, all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's where we went. I only had about 45 minutes in there, so I was grabbing as quickly as I could the stuff that I was wanting. Kind of had a list of things I was looking for. Um, Plan to pick up some stuff for some other people. I really just didn't have time to look. So uh, anyway, I was kind of uh, kind of just uh, stuff for me on this trip. So uh, anyway, let me show you the stuff I picked up at Encore as far as CDs. I uh, picked up this one. This is uh, Neuropathia. It's 13. Isn't it? it's, a, it's just got five songs on it. Uh, it was actually cheap, and I just it really kept kept uh, uh, caught my eye. Just the the album cover. Uh, the song titles, uh, if you look on the label down here, oh, here Self-Made God, that was kind of interesting. And of course, you know, it's got the upside down cross and the sixes on there. So it looked kind of evil, kind of crazy. Got the rooster on the back. So I figured for a couple of bucks, I would check that out. So uh, let's see what else I get there. Oh, another one. Uh, I've been wanting some stuff from this band. Uh, I was going to go see them live several weeks ago uh, with Punk Texas John because of work and everything. I wasn't able to get off work, so I didn't get to go. So uh, they had a copy of the CD, and it's uh, Savage Master, and this is With Whips and Chains. Female fronted heavy metal band. Very, very cool. Just straight up metal. Very, very cool. And I'm actually going to look for some vinyl now since I like the CD so much. And the only other CD that I bought at Encore was this. So I was really excited about the uh, White Zombie um, uh, box set, vinyl box set. Well, I planned on ordering it from Amazon, um, the pre-order. Some stuff came up. I didn't have the money at the time. Uh, yada, yada, yada. We were there. They had the vinyl box set and the CD box set. So I ended up getting the CD just because it was a little bit cheaper and I wanted to hear it. And uh, I still plan on getting the vinyl, but I went ahead and picked up the CD uh, since I had the... Look, I got to spend the money on this, plus I got some other stuff. So, uh, anyway, it's a real nice box set. It's all the early stuff. Comes with It comes in, actually, a really thick book. Uh, tons of cool pictures. There's three CDs. They're in a little thing right here. Very cool book with pictures, um, stories. It's got a t-shirt discography from the early days. Um, some more pictures. And then in the back of the book, it's got the other two CDs. So um, I thought it would have been cooler if they would have done like the vinyl, have each individual album sleeved, but it was just on three CDs. But anyway, uh, I will be getting the, the vinyl soon, but I'll, I'll go ahead and pick up the CD. So, And I've listened to a couple of them already. Um, it's what you expect. It's kind of garage rock, metal, uh, very bad production, that kind of stuff, but it's cool. And then the vinyl I had picked up there, uh, this album is killer. Nervosa. This is Agony. Straight up thrash. Heavy. Freaking heavy. Um, uh, I hate to say it's a female band, but it's a female band. But whether they're female or male, it kicks. It is awesome. Um, here's the gatefold. Got the lyrics on that side and it just came in just a sleeve a regular uh, little black sleeve um, I'll show you the vinyl but it's actually on the turntable I've been playing this quite a bit um, honestly that's one of the main records I've been playing since I got back so very cool thrash band uh, if you come across this definitely pick it up Nervosa and by the way when we were in Austin it was very very hot and humid a lot of sweating. It's very, very hot. <laughs> um, let's see. I also picked up when I was there. This is a uh, local band actually out of Dallas. They're called Mothership. Um, I had their stuff on CD and uh, came across the vinyl, so I picked it up. Um, 70s space rock sounding stuff. Fantastic. Um, very, very cool. Uh, the, uh, the guitar player and the singer bass player brothers. Um, I met Kyle, who is the... Uh, I'm sorry, I met Kelly, who was the guitar guitarist for the band. Uh, he was at uh, Born Late when uh, I went and met Venom. So that was kind of cool, get to meet him there. So, Mothership. This is their, actually their first album. So, And they're in the studio currently right now recording another a new album right now. So, uh, Another band that I'm a big fan of, this is Necrophagia. This is 
Death Trip 69. Another band I got to meet when I got to meet Venom, they were there. Got some stuff signed. Um, just gore metal. I don't even know how. Death metal, gore metal. Um, this was the limited edition on blood red vinyl. It's one of those things I very rarely ever come across uh, this band's stuff in the wild, so I definitely had to pick it up. Um, and for eighteen bucks, eighteen ninety eight, for sure, brand new. Normally, I get their stuff; I have to order it online, so it was kind of cool to pick up. Um, so that's all I picked up actually at um, Encore. Like I said, I didn't have much time. Um, the guy in there was really cool. Uh, it wasn't the owner that was in there; it was another guy. Uh, had a dog in there, so we visited for a little while. So it took a little. A little of my digging time because I was visiting. So, uh, anyway, um, from there, then we have also went the next day. We, uh, that was Friday, went to Encore. Saturday, uh, hit Aaron's over on 6th Street, which is Aaron's Rock and Roll. Very cool shop. Tons of t shirts, posters, everything you can imagine for metal and hard rock, uh, minus records and CDs. So, minus the music. So, uh, Picked up a really cool Motley Crue theater paint shirt and a really cool vintage uh, looking uh, Alice Cooper shirt. Uh, they're both new, but they have that vintage look to them, which was cool. Uh, picked up a few patches, a few stickers, which I put away. So, uh, anyway, I love patches and stickers. So, picked those up. I uh, actually picked up, I guess, quite a bit because when we got ready to leave, uh, the guy asked me if he says, Do you mind if I give your son a t shirt? I was like, I guess. And so, I don't care. And uh, so, he gave me a brand new Aaron's uh, logo t-shirt for the shop, so that was kind of cool. So I guess we spend a lot of money in places to get, get some free stuff for him, so uh, anyway, he was real excited. He liked the shirt, so um, anyway, um, then on Sunday, we, um, uh, before we left town, hit, there's a half price we always go to, so I hit the half price. Wow, I uh, found some cool stuff, but whew, their prices on, the CDs were cheap, the vinyl was really expensive. Uh, and, you know, this is all used stuff, and they're like in the twenty dollar range, and I'm like crazy. Um, they had some really cool, I guess, more expensive stuff. They'd have like a, a card in there with the uh, the picture of the of the record and information. Um, they had two Hawkwind records I would like to have had, um, but they were in the fifty dollar mark, and I'm going to spend fifty bucks on those. Um, I'm trying to think, they had a few other things that were kind of cool, but vinyl wise, I just I wasn't going to spend that much money on a used record, considering a lot of those records shouldn't be that expensive, but whatever. But I did find one record I did not have, and I got it for like 5 $6, so I was pretty excited to get this. This is the Jimmy Page Outrider album. I've actually never heard this, seen it a lot, never heard it, and for just a few bucks, I thought it was really worth the pickup, and uh, the vinyl's in real good shape, and the cover's actually in pretty good shape, so... It was the only record I picked up there. CD-wise, I picked up a stack of CDs. Um, picked up uh, Woodstock. Uh, two disc sets. Um, I'm still looking for this on vinyl. Love to have this on vinyl, but I was excited to get this. It has some really cool stuff on it. I like the uh, Santana, 10 Years After, uh, Jefferson Airplane. Uh, of course, the Jimi Hendrix. I really dig the Canned Heat. Uh, Richie Havens. Uh, it goes on and on. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. So much such cool stuff on here. So, uh, pick that up for cheap. Another band I really dig, uh, which is not metal at all. It's the Dandy Warhols. Uh, saw them a couple years ago at Sackfest, and wow, blew me away. One of my favorite bands now that's non-metal. I would call it more like um, modern psych. It's kind of what they, I think they fall into, or alternative kind of sounding. But anyway, very cool band. This was, I didn't have this CD. This is from... Uh, 2012, so the Dandy Warhols. I uh, got this one cheap. Um, it was still sealed, I guess. Well, it was sealed, but the case is completely falling apart. It's the Rob Zombie pre presents uh, Captain Clegg and the Night Creatures. I'm not really sure what this is all about, but it has Rob Zombie's name on there, and clearly everybody knows what a huge white zombie Rob Zombie fan I am, so I picked it up. Another cool band, uh, kind of a doom type band. Uh, this is Witchcraft. I've actually been looking for this CD. It's Legend, so real excited to find that. Like paid six ninety nine, so that wasn't too bad. 
Uh, the last CD I picked up was the Legendary Pink Dots. Um, this is like a newer album. I think this was 2008. Uh, yeah, 2008. Um, I don't even know how to describe them. The best way to describe them is the on the cover here. It says it's uh, Omnia Sinister Pop, Crushed Velvet, Light Rain, and Spooky Carnivals. So uh, they've been around for a lot of years. Uh, they actually influenced bands like Skinny Puppy and stuff way back in the day. So uh, uh, again, never come across their stuff. And actually, I don't even own any of their stuff, but. Since I saw that, I picked it up. It was cheap. It was $3.99. So. Uh, and I've already listened to part of this. It's really good, by the way. So, All right. That is pretty much uh, everything I picked up in Austin. Uh, it was really cool when I was there. Um, I have a friend who lives in San Marcos. I haven't seen like in 16 years. Uh, he was in town um, doing a little shopping. And uh, we just happened to cross paths. We decided we were both in town. So he came and met me at, uh, at a, of all places, a coffee shop. And... Uh, we got to hang out for a while, so that was really cool. Got to spend a couple hours with him. So uh, he was, uh, he's actually in, was in a band. I don't know if see. Yeah, he used to be the singer for this band out of San Marcos, Cactus Rash. Really cool band, Texas Metal. Um, anyway, that's the demo CD, or the CD they have out. So, so anyway, that's everything. Um, I'll, I may add some pictures at the end of this video, so, uh, Watch the whole thing, you may leave some uh, pictures at the end of it. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back, I know, soon with some videos because I've got some new pickups and I still have an artist collection that I bought a whole collection of stuff from. So, uh, and I, I actually have reviews to do and I have a couple other things. So, I'm going to try to make another video maybe this week at some point. So, uh, uh, I'll keep them spread out a little bit so you don't get too, don't see me too much. So, Anyway, uh, tonight is Thursday night. It's almost 10 o'clock. Or it's after 9. Uh, Texas time. So, uh, anyway, we'll see you next time. And uh, don't forget, stay metal.